everyone i hope you are welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is seppi and today i'm joined by my sister sol hello sol also has a youtube channel so after this video make sure you go and check out her video with me it will be linked down in the description Mwah. why am i kissing already it's only the start of the video whilst we're here you might as well subscribe to my channel hit the so is it here this side this side just subscribe subscribe you'll make our lives much better also, thank you guys so much for 40k. I'm a very, very I can't happy. believe that. How good is that? It's crazy. I remember like when I had 100 subscribers and I hit 100 and I was like sending it in the group chat. Like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, 40,000 means so much to me and I get to meet so many of you like every week and it makes me so happy. So I love you guys so much and I really appreciate it. Now that we're done with that very long intro, Sol and I are back with another episode of Sip Tea with Zeppi. Yes, it's been quite a long time Wait, since we did can this. I sip tea whilst we sip tea? Of course, you can sip okay. tea. I, Is it okay that it's coffee? Yeah, I've got coffee too. Okay. So we've both got coffees, but let's just pretend it's tea because, you know, more culture, Persian culture is very much, you know, tea vibes, but we're yes. actually having coffee. So I've asked on my Instagram for you guys to send in your juiciest boy dilemmas. Girls and boys, I'm always answering your dilemmas, like relationship dilemmas on my Instagram. Um, literally, you guys DM me all the time. Sorry, sir, but have you seen that meme that talks about how, what do your single friends do? I literally think we say this <laughs> every single time. The only thing that seems to remain constant in all these videos is that I remain single <laughs> in all of them. But I'm very good at relationship advice. And also, I'm single by choice, guys. Honestly, I'm not just saying it to gas myself. Their choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm single by my own choice because uh, there's other stuff I want to focus on. Some people who I've liked and spoken to, once I get to know them a bit better, they've realised that they're not actually the one for me, but they're great people. Um, so I am single by choice. But if you do meet the person that you like and have feelings for and you do get into a relationship, then it happens. But some of you guys are clearly struggling with this, as it says here on my Instagram. So I'm just going to go in order read that one that kind of jumps in dives in doesn't it should you do things on the first date brackets sexual um me personally i don't think that's a good idea to do I don't something think so. sexual on the first date maybe if the date's like really long you're getting along really no. well no, no no wait you didn't let me finish <laughs> if the date's getting along really well all of this you know it walks you to to your like card or whatever, you can give him like an extra prolonged like kiss on the cheek, like. <laughs> yeah, but if he tries to move, you. <laughs> no messing around there. But in terms of doing other like stuff on the first date, I really don't think that's a good idea because. Why buy a cow when you can get the milk for free? Okay, so that's Sol's idea. Why buy the cow when you, when you can get the milk for free? I think you shouldn't do it because imagine after the second... Because so many of my friends date guys where like they, they go on a few dates and then about three or four weeks into dating they realise they don't like him. And if by that point you've done a lot of stuff with them, like then what's the value of doing things with people? Do you know what I mean? Are you doing things with people just for fun? Um, or are you doing it because it means something? Because I think, you know, you should do things because it means something, not because you're doing it for fun. That's me personally. So if you're in the mindset where this guy or this girl is someone that you want to, you know, get to know better and be with meaningfully, then you should wait until those things can actually have a meaning rather than just be something that you're doing. I agree. Oh. Mm. Tick. Okay. Um, and next question. How do you confront a guy who's sending mixed signals? I actually finally think I've learned this. Don't tell me. You just tell him point blank how you feel and you say, this is how I feel. Either continue talking to me and we go along the path of getting to know each other and dating or leave me the hell alone because there's a whole queue of boys out there who would like to take this girl out. And it's true. Right? Yeah, definitely. And if he leaves you alone, then good riddance because he was going to waste your time anyway. And if he takes you out, then it just shows that maybe he was a bit shy and now he's not shy. And now he's like, oh, she likes me too. It doesn't, don't, one thing I always think I used to get confused about was I used to think like, like ego wise, 
that like if you tell a guy that you like him and like you you want something serious with him after a few dates want this to be something serious because you don't want to get hurt like along the way yeah. so i think like ego wise like oh my god that's so bad because imagine if he doesn't feel the same way but i realized along the way like when you grow up as well you'll realize like ego should just go out the window because if someone's going to be playing ego games with you then they should be keeping their games for a football pitch not for for you and i actually agree with that i think in anything in life detachment from your ego is your route to happiness yeah i think like ego is definitely like a big thing and i think it's takes... downfall downfall yeah so you think it takes a lot of confidence to tell a guy like hey you're sending me mixed signals and this is my signal what are you saying very and it's very liberating regardless it's so liberating. of what they tell you Literally. You've got it. Some people think it's a control thing that they, they lose control, but you're not. Yeah, you're telling them how they, you feel if they like you, fantastic. If they don't, how liberating is it to know that a you did everything so there are no misunderstandings, and b if they're not into it, like Seppi said, there is a very long queue. Yeah, very long. Um, almost like the queue outside Zara on a Saturday. Oh my <laughs> God. Why is it that with Zara, it's the one shop that's got a really Literally, long... Literally, what, what is that about? I have Why? no idea. To be fair, Zara's clothes are banging. You're wearing Zara right now. <laughs> they are, but don't like the queue. You know what? Shop online, I think. Shop online if you don't like it, post it back. What does it mean if he used to post you a lot and recently he doesn't post you? Maybe you're not doing as much... Post as in like post social media. Yeah. He used to post photos of you and him. Yeah. I don't know. I really believe that to a certain degree you need to keep your personal life in terms of relationships private. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to post so many pictures of someone I'm dating online. Um, I, I agree with you. I don't think that you should um, post a lot of pictures of your other half on Instagram or stuff like that. Not because of other people or like their view on your relationship, which I think Soul is more particular about. But more because I think those moments or those pictures or, or whatever should be for you guys to look back yeah. on and reflect, not for the whole world to look back and judge your relationship. I don't think anyone should ever have a say in your relationship. Like for me on social media, everyone wants to have a say in like what you're wearing, why are you doing this, when you should be doing that, you know. If you add in your whole relationship into it, then everyone's going to still be thinking that they can comment on that as well. And that's not even like as an influence, I just mean as in general as a person. So definitely don't worry if he doesn't post you as much. First of all, no one's really doing anything right now. What's he going to post? Do you guys sitting at home at 10 p.m.? You know? No one's doing anything in the world right now. Everyone's sitting at home dealing with COVID. If he hasn't deleted the old photos of you, then clearly everyone can still see you his girl, you know? So don't worry about it, right? Has anyone posted photos of you? Posted photos of me? Ever? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever posted a photo of you. So I've posted photos of you. I met a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never posted photos of a guy though, ever. <laughs> this is like- I have a. This is nothing even to do with like feed thing, but more because of what I told you guys. I just feel like my private life. My and I also think, oh, Happy anniversary to my love and your love sitting next to you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that could be like, me so much. Oh my god, like why are you saying congrats to each other when you're sitting next to each other? Oh look, you know what <laughs> baths you the most. I have this one friend and I know he doesn't watch my YouTube I mean I pray he doesn't watch my YouTube videos yet. But he's always posting his mum, like, mum, I love you, blah, 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 like, talking to his mum. His mum doesn't have Instagram. <laughs> so, like, she is just, like, an Asian mum, like, no. And all of this, like, and he is just, like, literally posting out all the time. Like, if you're doing it to get girls, you know, fair enough. But, like, stop talking like you're talking to your mum because she's not going to see these posts. <laughs> she's not on Insta. But I think, wait, this is so unrelated, but I think if I had a boyfriend and we were serious, serious, I think I probably would share him on my YouTube, on my vlogs. Would you? Because I'm a vlogger, I feel that's like part of my life. I, I mean, never say never, um, so maybe, yeah. But guys, obviously there's no one, <laughs> so I'm not seeing anyone. <laughs> Uh, okay, now Going back to your question. <laughs> Can you touch on how to meet decent men who are serious to settle and respect a woman? If you get that memo, send it to <laughs> Sip. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm joking. She's joking. Um, I am joking. I don't think it's hard to find a decent man. I think it's all to do with your mentality. If you're reflecting that in yourself, that you're showing that you're a decent lady and you're serious, then you're only really going to be approached by people who are decent and serious. Apart from obviously the odd bob guys who approach you because of your looks, you know, just come up to you because they saw you from across. You never know, they might actually be nice Very people. well said, sir. Very but, well said. Yeah, I think it comes across from the way you are. Like, if I sit in a restaurant or I sit, like, wherever I go, um, there's two types of guys who try and talk to me. It's the ones who have been staring at you for quite a while from across and just to like the way you look. And then the other one is the one who's kind of been sitting close by, listening to your convo, analyzing, and laughs along with your jokes with your friends and then tries to just jump in, you know? So I and guess, are you more attracted to the latter than the former? Latter, definitely. Because you can kind of see that like, they can't help it but be engaged in your conversation, which is kind of like, fun because you're like oh so you like my humor yeah. so do you like receiving compliments more on your looks or your humor mm -mm -mm. i think off the bat i like receiving compliments more of my personality than my looks because i think but people the fact that they don't there... get your personality straight away so don't be offended if someone's appreciating how you look I don't get offended if someone's appreciating how I look, but I mean, like, for example, if we sit, if I sit and someone comes and talks to me and we talk for like 15 minutes and they're like, oh my god, I didn't think you'd be this funny when I was like looking at you from across or anything, for example. You know, that's more than like if he's like, I really like the way you look tonight. <laughs> You're looking fine. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, both are compliments, but. I just think when someone compliments your personality, it means so much more. What's that one? Me and a guy. Me and a guy started talking and he really wants me to trust him, but I've heard stuff about him. I don't think you should judge a guy based off what, what other people tell you about him at all. Because I think how a guy or a girl, irrespective, I think you need to judge someone based off of how they are with you because how reliable are the sources that the people talk to you and where did they hear from and I think always when I hear other people talking about someone I'm like why do they feel comfortable enough to to tell you about this do you know what I mean I don't like it when people talk about other people to me I really don't like it and I hate it even more when it's negative yeah why can you not talk about people if you're going to but point out their positives yeah you know? So I think if someone's telling you like, oh, this guy is not good, he's this, he's that, but to you he's been nice and he's been good, why are you judging someone? You're basically judging a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. Like, if someone else is going to badmouth him and you're going to believe it, then that's your loss versus getting to know the real thing, right? Yeah, but simultaneously... Don't be blind to it, you know? Don't be totally stupid to it. I mean, keep it in the back of your mind, but don't let it affect you getting to know the person. That's it. Only you are capable of fooling yourself. And that's a really scary thought. My dad always says that. He's always like, y you, can't, um, you can't wake someone who's pretending to be sleeping. So, if, if any of you guys understand or get what that means, it basically means like, so that person already knows what they're doing, you don't need to tell them they're doing it. That was different to what I was saying though. Only you can fool yourself. Yeah, that's also true. Like, as in, I think if that's you true. think the guy is bad, don't fool yourself into thinking he's good. Yeah. I love my fiance, but he's lazy and plays video games all the time. Should we stay together or should we break up? I think it's really hard for us to give you advice as to whether you guys should stay together or break up because he's lazy because I think have you tried talking to him about it have you told him that this bothers you is it affecting your personal life have you tried getting rid of the video game isn't this something he does in his downtime some people like going for long no walks, but I, you, you know, know what I can tell from the way that this person is saying it like maybe I'm just charging like too too reading too much into this from the way she's saying it, he's just sitting up, sitting there all day, waking up, playing video games, going back to sleep. A bit like, you know that friend that we have? There's nothing wrong with it. If you enjoy gaming, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So long as the rest of your life is not suffering. Yeah. If your but fiance, so lazy. Yeah, if your fiance is questioning, wanting you, wanting to be with you over how much time you're spending 
on this screen, then maybe you need to take a step back. Yeah, that's true. You know, get your priorities in order. That's so true. Because look how hard it is for everyone else to find a decent person. You've got a decent person who wants to be with you. Okay, these are getting really juicy now, guys. Oh my God. My ex literally got a new girlfriend one week after we broke up and I literally see them both every day. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Good luck to them. Literally, sorry that you're going through this I agree with Saul, but good luck to them. You know, if if he is the kind of guy that will find someone else after one week, then he'll do the same with her. And he is. He Hopefully, can... he doesn't do the same to her. But if he's doing that, he was never worth it. To be yeah. With. And you know what? Just use a lot. Do of, you use a lot of like positive energy stuff to like help you through this? Like listen to like a lot of like the secret and like anything to do with positive energy that really helps through breakups, I think going to the gym really helps in breakups, eating healthy, going out with your friends, studying and like reading, watching TV, watch Modern Family, watch some comedy, watch Emily in Paris. Emily in Paris is so good. Watch that, it will all help you. Guys, I, a few years ago, a long while ago actually, not a few years ago, this guy and I had broken up and I went to France on my own in Paris and I took a, a book and it was called He's Not That Into You. <laughs> and I sat in the Champs Elysees reading this book and crying into this book <laughs> and feeling so sorry for myself. I looked amazing doing it. <laughs> I looked brilliant. However, it was, but <laughs> I digress. The book is a really good read. Oh, is that what you were saying? <laughs> You'll get over the guy. <laughs> something really liberating about finding out that someone wasn't that into you he wasn't that into you if he's already got a new one that's yeah. it don't waste your time okay next one juicy um my man's in prison but innocent case will be dismissed soon do i tell my parents i mean if he's coming out in the next few days just leave it be and he was innocent i think don't tell them no mm. Or honesty is the best policy honesty and just tell the them. Best policy. Just in case it comes out later on, you don't want to seem like a liar. I think don't lie. I always say never ever lie, but like if you want to avoid telling the truth, you can also do that. Do you know what I mean? Like as in don't go out of your way to like side skirt something. If someone asks you about it, be honest. But if it doesn't come up, you don't need to bring it up. That's what I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's lying 101, Seppi. What do you That's mean? That's not lying. That's not lying at all. I hate when people lie. Honestly, I hate when people lie like, oh, like, where are you? I'm at work and they're actually at home. You know, for example, that, I hate that. But like, if someone's like to you, like, you're just talking on the phone, they don't ask where you are. You don't need to say you're at home when you're at work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need to. You don't need to tell everyone everything. You why? Need to. You need to ask but if yourself, they ask you, why do you not want to tell your parents? Because obviously she doesn't want them to think like, oh, he was actually doing something wrong when she's saying that he's that he was actually innocent. And the case is going to be dismissed. I don't want it to be something that holds um, something over you later on. So like a few years time, and then someone. I used to watch a lot of like soap operas. So I don't like someone having something over me and then being able to blackmail me with it later. I think so long as you don't lie about it, you'll never be blackmailed. Because you'll just be like, oh yeah, forgot about, forgot to tell you. Never came up. Never came up. What are you gonna say to never came up? How did it not come up? Just didn't, there was other stuff going on at that time. Uni was heavy. Uni work was heavy. I was buried in coursework. Be buried in something else. <laughs> Last question, and then we are gonna end this video here because honestly, there's too many, too many. That, and I can smell my dad's cooking. <laughs> okay, I love my boyfriend, but his sisters hate me and come in between our relationship. What oh, do I do? I'm sorry. First of all, this sounds very horrible, but it also sounds like a scene from like Iran, like back in the day. And I don't know why classic Iranian movies all have like the evil sister-in-laws, you know? Yeah, but the in-laws are like, yeah. But actually, they that being said, I, I worked with this Pakistani doctor and she was also telling me something similar as well. So I don't know, guys, is it like an Asian The in-laws do interfere a little yeah i think it might be an asian thing guys let us know in the comments what you think is there other cultures i, know, that it's I the think same? every culture is it, in is it every yeah culture there's thing. jokes about it the in-laws but guys but it's see, like, worse when they live at home 
Mm. So I think Maybe in that why. case they live at home, yeah, so it's worse. When uh, they're not living at home, maybe they don't have as much influence on them. And there's an Iranian saying, Durio Dusti, which means that keep your distance and be civil, really. So you don't need to keep socializing with the in-laws. And also, they don't need to like you. Sometimes we try so hard to be liked, you know, then uh, not everyone's gonna like you. So. I just don't think I put in enough power to give enough power to the guy's siblings or family or whatever to have a say in our relationship because I think you have to tell your your boyfriend or your fiance like it's between us if you want me to have a relationship with your whole family then I'm not down I'm not here for it because I think at the end of the day you have to remember and again this is something that my dad always tells me my dad's like if you're unhappy in your relationship even if you're 90 don't waste one minute of your life in an unhappy relationship because that's one minute of your life that you could have spent enjoying yourself so don't sell yourself short in a scenario remember your worth and wait don't be that afraid doesn't to mean don't him. stop working hard in a relationship yeah either. yeah yeah, I, yeah true but don't be afraid to lose him but sure tell him that i'm worthy of being treated well by your sisters and I don't want them to have anything to say in my relationship with Guys, you. Guys, I disagree with this. Really? Yeah, because I think so many times the person, so if it's the guy or it's the girl, they get kind of caught in the crossfire and it's not right. See, sometimes you have to take a step back and realise that actually it's his sisters that are like treating you like this, not him, you know? But what should she do? So why what should she punish just pick up, him? Should she put up with it? Take a step back, tell him that, look, they're treating me like this, but out of respect for you, out of the love that I have for you, I'm not going to say anything. I'd really appreciate it if you could just acknowledge that I'm doing this. Guys, I don't think that's going to solve anything. Why? No. And then just don't socialise with them so much. But like, I just think maybe they're not even socialising. Maybe the sisters just get involved anyway. Yeah, but tell your partner without attacking your partner. you got to be... It sounds bad, but you have to be a little clever and tactful as well. A, give your partner enough respect to tell them and not tell them off for something that someone else is doing and b you come across so much better you come across like a lady okay guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to me down below don't forget to check out soul's video after this it'll be linked down in the description if you enjoyed it leave us some comments we love you don't forget to check out instagram they across the sleeve Everyone put up some positive energy that we all find nice partners and relationships when we're ready for them. Put it out there. And we love you. Thank you for having me, Sarah. Guys, I love these. I and love Sebi, too. your fans are so nice. They are. Like, whenever we see them, like, shopping, like, we saw a few ladies yesterday. They're so nice. We were really happy to see you guys. Anyway, thank love you, you for watching. Bye. Like and subscribe. Or was it subscribe and like?